Hi everyone, Sam Wenzel here from Sam's Woodland Tours, and today I'm doing a video on my classic camping outfit. So over the years while doing tours and workshops, I've always had an historical aspect to these events. And lately what I've decided to do is to include a costume and equipment for it. So today what I want to talk about is the costume specifically. So I'm going to start with my footwear. Down here you'll notice some moccasins. And these are the Eastern style moccasins. And I'll actually mention specifically that these are from the kit as available through the Townsend's company down in the States. I'm a big fan of their stuff. But uh, the Eastern style moccasins, when you get that kit, what it does is it gives you the, the pre-cut leather and the ability to stitch it. So they give you a needle and some thread. However, uh, you can also, if you can get the pattern, or whatever style moccasins you'd like to make. Uh, make it of yourself, of course, which I may be doing in the future. And of course, with this paired, because it's a European costume, I have little socks. Now, the reason why this is used in this costume is because the time period that I'm portraying is the late 1800s, early 1900s. And at that time, it was pretty common for outdoorsmen to have moccasins rather than boots because smooth soled boots weren't always the best for walking outdoors in slippery conditions. Plus if you were out there as per se a, a hunter or a guide, uh, the softer soled footwear, not only was it really comfortable, but it also allowed you to be really quiet in the woods. Now, uh, as I mentioned before, I'm portraying someone from the late 1800s. So of course we have options of things such as woolen trousers but today since this is my uh, summer uh, early fall and late spring costume I have uh, cotton trousers on and up here instead of a belt to hold it up I have suspenders uh, these suspenders are also from James Townsend or Townsend's down in the States and this is the style of trousers where they have a very high waist. However, if you'd like to accessorize, so if you're going to carry a tomahawk or knife or whatever with you, uh, you'd have a belt that could go either here or up here on top of this, even though you have the suspenders to hold up your pants. The shirt, again, in the winter time, you may want to switch to a wool shirt, but around here it would be either cotton or linen. This is a linen shirt and is a 19th century style wool shirt. Now you'll see in a lot of photos from the late 1800s, people going out in the woods, they'll either be in what would be deemed work clothes or even suits. I decided to go with more of a, a laborer style of clothing rather than a um, worn out suit kind of look. So in the winter time, of course, we'd switch to a, a wool shirt and it would still have something similar to this or a wool shirt on, on top of this because we all are familiar with the the benefits to wool clothing and outside. So underneath these pants in a damp or cold climate or time of year, you would actually have wool underwear as well. Because of course it can get wet, but keep you warm still. Uh, and then last but not least, I'd like to mention the hat. Um, of course, I like a wide brim hat because it will keep the sun off my face. Uh, this hat is made out of uh, wool and felt, and this one I did also get from the Townsend's company down the street. Many style of hats back then, but uh, like I said, around here you'd see photos of or drawings depicting people with wide brim hats as well, just because it's great for keeping the sun out of your eyes and off your face. So this would be a pretty common setup for someone in the mid-18 or late 1800s, early 1900s, going out into the woods for either guiding hunting, fishing, or camping, and just moving about in the woods, and here, even here in Nova Scotia during that time period. So like I said as before, um, now in events for Sam's Woodland Tours, you'll be starting to see me wearing this costume or a costume similar to it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like to see more of this, or even in person, you can check out my website. More of this will be coming in the near future. So uh, as always, thank you for watching. If you like this, please click like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.